Happy October, everyone. October is my favorite month. Fall is my favorite season. And I think that all ties into the fact that I am an October baby. And I am along with another fellow YouTuber. And I want to lift up uh, Connie from Prairie Paper Crafts as uh, her birthday is in October as well. And I have some special goodies here I wanted to share with you from my mom and from Connie. So um, let's just get into this. So my favorite snack is Chex Mix. And so my mom likes to bless me with Chex Mix when she um, is so inspired to put together a huge batch. So I end up with a huge Ziploc that I keep here on the floor in my craft room and munch on that while I'm crafting. Uh, we had one thing that we had to do to perfect the Chex Mix, my mom likes Honey Nut Cheerios, I do not. So there was one year she made the Chex Mix for me and I was eating it and I'm like, hmm, something is just off about this. And so it dawned on me to ask her, I was like, what kind of Cheerios did you put in this? And of course it was Honey Nut and I said, no, you can't do that. It's gotta be the regular Cheerios. So. Bless her heart that she uh, makes that accommodation for me and doesn't put the Honey Nut Cheerios in there, but the regular Cheerios. <laughs> so that is my munchy birthday present. And then I have some fun gifts here. This is a envelope that my mom created to put a Halloween journal in. So I thought that was very, very cute. Look at just all the detail in that. Even the cancellation postage on the, the stamp. <laughs> so here is the little journal that she made. I just think this is so beautiful. My favorite colors, by the way, are green and purple. So spot on with those colors as well as just being the Halloween theme. And so there's a pocket there. Then it opens up and you've got a pocket here with all kinds of little journal cards. And then this flips open and there's more journaling cards in pockets within there. Look at the detail. Oh, amazing, amazing paper crafters in the world, my mom included. And then look at this on her, she makes her own dyed paper. So she had a big coffee dyeing day the other day. She was telling me what a big mess she had made. <laughs> and so yeah, here's all the papers that she makes. And then there's just a special note in here that she wrote. Okay, and then this little, this would come out as like a traveler's journal. And then here's another pocket, googly-eyed spider. And then this will flip out and there are more pockets with some, uh, even some vellum paper here for this pocket. So here's where the pockets go, or the little journaling cards as well as here. So very, very fun. Thank you, mom. I love it to pieces. You're very talented. You can do circles around me is what I always tell her. She's just so crafty and, and actually does projects. I buy the goods and I collect them. This is one from last year that she had made. So it's got a puffy ghost on it. And then when you open it up, it has a little pocket here. And then this one kind of slips in the side. And then there's these two flips that are here and then the back side. And then I think, no, that isn't open, it just flips. And then the back. So that was, like I say, from last year. Cute, cute. And then this is the card from her. I just had to share this with you. I love sloth. So when you open it up, it's... <laughs> so I thought that was very fun to share. All right, Connie, Prairie Paper Crafts. We, oh my goodness, Connie, how long have we been YouTube buddies and then just friends just that communicate through texts and emails. I uh, appreciate her so, so much. So I we live in different states. I don't know if we'll ever get to meet in person. I, I really hope that someday that will come to be because I would I would love to meet her. She's not only a very, very talented lady, but just a very endearing friend. So this was one that she sent to me just at the beginning of fall. So she uh, just wanted to say welcome fall. Again, she likes this time of year as well. Just look at the detail on that. There's embossing folders that have been used. There's some glitter on there, but look at her beautiful work. Oh. And then it's an easel card, so it opens up. And then there's 
Rake, Pile, Jump, and Smile. So thank you for the fall card, Connie. I really appreciate it. These I always display in my room, so it always brings joy. And then a birthday card. Um, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm kind of getting into the gnome spirit. So uh, Close to My Heart has seasonal gnome stamps, so I am still close to my heart. And uh, you're welcome to go on my website and see the stamp sets that are available. But of course, Connie is wonderful with her paper piecing, so this is a paper piece gnome. And then look again, there is embossing folder used for the back and then a bow. And look at this dimensional sunflower. Beautiful, beautiful. And then inside, so lovely. So fun card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then this is, I haven't opened it yet because I just love her packaging as well. So the packaging and all of it just put together is such a treasure to me that I like to leave it in there. I, it's been a while. There's a couple things I just finally took out of the wrap from her that I've received in the past, but I just think it preserves it. Isn't that beautiful? So adorable. And then she put a favorite brownie recipe of hers inside. So like I said, I haven't opened it because I just, I'm treasuring it still. I always put these things out to display and so that just keeps it nice and tucked away safely. And then I don't know if you've seen on her Facebook post, but her ornaments that she's been doing. This says, light of friendship. This little light of friendship is to hang upon your tree. When you see it swing and sway, I hope you'll think of me. I know it doesn't flicker, but know right from the start, all true friendships flicker from within the heart. Merry Christmas. Connie, that really just kind of brings a tear to my eyes. I'm, I'm a very emotional person. Um, so this just touched my heart to no end. So if you can see inside there, again, I haven't taken it out, but she has three dimensional paper flowers, a pine cone, some beautiful lace and trim, and it is attached to a beautiful glitter Christmas bulb. So I just wanted to get on here and just share these blessings with you and, you know, express the importance of how dear people are in our lives right now, especially when we're really stuck at home and we can't be with those that we love and those that we cherish. But in spirit, we can by blessing one another with just, just notes of encouragement and just letting each other know that we're thinking of, of each other and just sharing love in that manner. I thank you all for being here and uh, blessings to all of you. And thank you again to mom and Connie. Love you both. Bye-bye.